Hi, I'm Steve Halliday, and in this video we're going to complete the mechanical preparations for our Arduino-based autonomous vehicle. We're going to do this by first installing the distance sensor, and then the light sensor, and then we'll also make sure that we have the battery leads in place so that we can use the battery pack that came with the car. This image shows the front view of the completed car, and you'll see that it has the two sensors Here's the distance sensor. I have mounted this in the front using some hot glue. And then also I used hot glue to mount the light sensor or what I'm using as a line detector. Also, we're going to want to make sure that we get the clips in place for the battery leads so that we can use the battery. This is the underbelly of the, of the car and this is where the leads are that we'll be installing to be able to use the batteries to run the motors. We'll start by installing the infrared proximity sensor. Here's the sensor, and I can actually just clip that into the front bumper here. And it just fits in like this here. I'm actually going to glue this in so it doesn't get jarred out at any point, but you kind of see how that fits. The other thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to install a little stick here. This is actually a piece of, this is a stirring stick that I took from the break room and I'm going to install the phototransistor on it like that. So what I need to do is figure out how long I need the stick to be. I want the phototransistor to be close to the floor so that it gets a good reflection off of the line. So let me mark here where I want to cut this stick. I'll just make a mark here. And now I'll take some scissors and I'll cut the stick to that length. There. And now I'll take some hot glue and I'll just use a little dab of hot glue on that stick and I'll put it right there on the car. And then later I'll be able to mount my phototransistor to the stick. And that'll keep the phototransistor, like I said, very close to the floor so I get a good reflection. So here I'm putting a little bit of hot glue on this stick. The hot glue is kind of nice. It's sort of messy. You can see it's stringy. But at the same time it's nice because it dries quickly and if you need to peel it off, you can. So there, the stick goes right there. Good. Okay, now let's put the proximity sensor in and we'll glue that in while I've got the hot glue out and running. Try and get some of the strings of the hot glue off the car here. So I'll clip it back in here. You'll notice that I've got the, the wire attachment for the sensor on the top. We're looking at the car from the top here and I'll just put a little bead of hot glue along there to hold it in place. Maybe it doesn't look very pretty, but it works pretty well. So there, we want to be careful not to get any of the hot glue on any of the eyes in the, on the sensor. So there, that's kind of what it looks like. So we're in pretty good shape. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I get the leads for the battery in, plate, in place. And I'm going to, th these came off of the board, as you recall, we unsoldered these. And I'm using a battery just to hold them in place. I'll slide it in between the battery and the side there. And then I'll use just a dab of hot glue to kind of hold them in place. See, that's where it goes there. And then I can solder onto those uh, connectors a little bit later and I'll just stick some hot glue on. Actually, I'm going to use a fair amount of hot glue here. I said a dab, but I'll use quite a bit here. And also on the other side, I didn't show you, but it's also being held by the battery. Uh, and so I'll glue that one. And I'm going to put some hot glue on these exposed wires here just to make sure that they don't short out. They, they will insulate the wires so I don't short it out against the Arduino. If you need to use some electrical tape or something like that, you could do that just as well. And there. So now I've got the battery case ready to go. And the last thing I need to do now is actually put the phototransistor on the stick. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take just a, just a little bit of hot glue and I'll put it on the phototransistor. Once again, making sure not to get it over the part that's used for sensing and I'll just push it onto the stick here so it looks like this. And so now I'm ready to go.
That completes our mechanical preparations for the car. In the next few videos, we'll work on wiring the sensors to the Arduino and putting all the wiring in place for the car. If you'd like to follow along with me on these videos and build your own autonomous vehicle, you can pick up the kit, including all the parts that you need, at swarmus.com. I look forward to working with you in the next video.